Hey guys, Camille Lambert, field agronomist with Bex Hybrids. And I'm Luke Wilson. I'm the PFR technician down here at Kentucky PFR. And today we're got, going to talk to you guys about side dressing nitrogen and equipment to maximize your nitrogen use efficiencies. So if you guys have your 2020 PFR buck handy, turn to pages 56 and 57. This is our PFR proven section. So it's going to show a little bit of data about how side dress applications have paid off and what we've seen over the years. Now, Camille, why do we side dress nitrogen? Yeah, so when we talk about nitrogen, um, we can we can talk about a lot of different things. But when we can split apply our nitrogen and actually spread out some of that risk, whether it be from wet conditions or delayed planting, um, you know, a number of different things can happen throughout the growing season. So if we can do two applications, we can allow for in-season adjustments, spread out some of that risk. Um, when we talk about nitrogen, it's also important to talk about when the plant actually uptakes it. So I'm going to pop up a chart, but I want you to notice on this chart from about V8 to tassel time is that rapid uptake period. And that's when the plant's going through rapid development itself. So if we can split apply and put that nitrogen on closer to when the plant actually needs to uptake it, we're going to be successful. But it's important to also talk about timing of side dress. So we've tested this a couple of different ways, but when we look at side dressing at V3 versus V4 or V5, we've seen that V3 has the best return on investment. So I'm going to actually quiz you, Luke. When we look at the corn plant, what growth stage is this corn plant at? So just looking at collars here, you've got one, two, three collars, and really that fourth leaf probably isn't too far away, so this plant is at the D3 growth stage. Yeah, so almost five inches tall, so I always like to relay it to a Coke can, because that is how small your plant is when you need to be out there doing your side dress application. So when we get when we get our side dress on at V3 versus waiting till V4, it's a tw almost $20 better return on a base on investment. So that's why it's so important to know your growth stage and to maybe split split apply your nitrogen. So uh, if you guys look back at page 57, we've got four years worth of data that shows that 30 units two by two and a side dress application with the rest of your nitrogen has shown the most profitable. Uh, but if you guys actually flip to pages 122 and 123 in your PFR book, this will pull up your nitrogen replacement studies two by two by two and a nitrogen system study, one that we kind of brought back from the dead this year. Um, so what we've actually seen is it's been even more profitable to up that two by two by two rate, have a nitrogen on both sides of the plant to 60 units. And that's become standard practice here at our PFR sites. So since this is becoming more of a standard practice, when we talk about equipment that we're going to need to make a side dress application, what do you think it's important to tell everybody? So this is a little bit of an older study, but on page 58 in the PFR proven section, uh, nitrogen sealers is kind of the main one that we've seen over the years. Again, we haven't tested it since 2016, but it showed a positive ROI and uh, it's shown a huge benefit over the, burst, or the typical culture setup. Um, so with that sealing, that slot made by that injection knife, that's greatly reducing your chances for volatilization and making sure that your nitrogen is staying where it needs to be at. Yeah, so when we can reduce the risk of nitrogen loss, we know we're going to be more profitable. When we can do split applications of nitrogen, we know we're going to be more profitable. So this is just a couple things I wanted to share with you today. Hope you've enjoyed this, and if you have any questions, please reach out to your local BEX representative. Thanks. Thanks